Welcome to Edu Aspirants, our YouTube channel for competitive exams. This video is on another new topic of English grammar, syntax or the word order. In linguistics, syntax refers to the rules that govern the way in which words combine to form phrases, clauses and sentences. The term syntax comes from the Greek meaning arranged together. Before we study the rules of syntax, let's examine the word order for a grammatically correct sentence. If you answer who, what, where, when, how and why, wherein, who refers to the subject, what refers to the action, where to a place, when to a time, how refers to in which manner, why to purpose, the sentence will be grammatically correct. How many of these you need to answer will depend on the sentence you are framing. Let's now move on to the rules of syntax or the absolutely correct word order. Sequence. One basic description of a language's syntax is the sequence in which the subject, verb and object usually appear in sentences. Most languages place the subject first either in the sequence subject, verb, object or the sequence subject, object, verb. Types of sentence structures. Types include simple sentences, compound sentences, complex sentences and compound complex sentences. Types of sentence structures. Simple sentences are subject verb. Compound sentences are two simple sentences joined by a conjunction. Complex sentences have dependent clauses and compound complex sentences have both compound as well as complex sentence types included. Let us now see the examples of the types of sentence structures. Simple sentence, subject verb structure, for example, the girl ran. Compound sentence, subject, verb, object, conjunction, subject, verb, structure. For example, the girl ran the marathon and here and is the conjunction, her cousin did too. The example of complex sentence, dependent clause, subject, verb object structure, for example, although they were tired after the marathon, the cousins decided to go to a celebration at the park. Compound complex sentence. Here are given four clauses, dependent and independent structures. For example, although they weren't fond of crowds, this was different. They decided because of the common goal that had brought everyone together. Syntax variations and distinctions. Syntax has changed over the centuries. For example, the proverb, whoever loved that love dot at first sight, indicates that English negatives could once be placed after main verbs. Also, not all people speak English in exactly the same way. Social dialects learned by people with common backgrounds, such as the social class, 
profession, age group, or ethnic group also may influence the speaker's syntax. Think of the differences between teenager slang and more fluid word order and grammar versus research scientists' technical vocabulary and the manner of speaking to each other. Social dialects are also called social varieties. Syntactic rules. English parts of speech often follow ordering patterns in sentences and clauses, such as compound sentences are joined by conjunctions and but or, or that multiple adjectives modifying the same noun follow a particular order according to their class, such as number, size, color, as in six small green chairs. The rules of how to order words help the language parts make sense. Sentences often start with the subject, followed by a predicate, or just a verb in the simplest sentences, and contain an object, or a complement, or both, which shows, for example, what is being acted upon. For example, Beth slowly ran the race in white multicolored flip-flops. The sentence follows a subject-word-object pattern. Beth ran the race. Adverbs and adjectives take their places in front of what they are modifying. Slowly ran. Wild, multicolored flip-flops. The object, the race, follows the verb ran and the prepositional phrase in wild multicolored flip-flops starts with the preposition in. Hearing and speaking syntax. Syntax is one of the major components of grammar. It is the concept that enables people to know how to start a question with a question word. What is that? or that adjectives generally come before the nouns they describe. Green chair. Subjects often come before verbs in non-question sentences. She jogged. Prepositional phrases start with prepositions to the store. Helping verbs come before main verbs. Can go or will go, will do and so on. For native speakers, using correct syntax is something that comes naturally, as word order is learnt as soon as an infant starts absorbing the language. Native speakers can tell something isn't said quite right because it sounds weird, even if they can't detail the exact grammar rules that makes something sound off to the ear. It is syntax that gives the words the power to relate to each other in a sequence, to carry meaning of whatever kind, as well as glow individually in just the right place. This brings us to the end of the video on syntax. Keep revising. The practice video on syntax shall be uploaded soon. 